Today on the channel, we're talking about gifts for the barbecue fan on your list. Let's get into it. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake. You're watching Roman Cook. Today on the channel, I'm sharing with you the tools and gadgets that I most use in the backyard around the barbecue. And what we're doing here is we're going from less expensive all the way up. So I've got some ideas for stocking stuffers, and then we get into some bigger stuff. Let's break it down. Before we get into today's video, I want to share a couple things. Number one, I'm just getting over a cold. If I sound a little bit off, I apologize. I'm working on it. Number two, many of the products I talk about today are going to have affiliate links and they're going to have discount codes. What does that mean? Well, affiliate link essentially means that if you buy using my link, I'm going to get a small percentage back and it just helps support the channel. Um, and you still get the same price. If there's a discount code, you of course get that discount and I still get a small percentage for sending you that way. Now, every product here that we're talking about today, I bought first, right? I get asked multiple times a week if I'll become an affiliate program for various things, everything from gas line detectors to knockoff uni ovens to thermometers, I mean, you name it. Someone thinks there's a product that is perfect for my channel and I should represent it. It's just not the way I work, right? This, this whole adventure for me is not to replace my day job. I'm just doing it for fun. Yeah, it's nice to make a little bit of money on it, but it's not my primary motivator. So these products are products that I used. I went and reached out to them to become affiliate because I believe in the product. So it's kind of like putting my name on it. So there will never be a product on my channel that I talk about that I don't 100% believe in. So I wanted to get that out there. And last but not least, since I have your attention, I want to tell you about a contest that's going on at bbq.com. It's their 2022 giveaway. They're giving away a 640, a bunch of pellets, some Thermal Works gear, and Milk Creek gift cards. It's a $4,500 package. You don't have to buy anything. You get one entry just by signing up for the newsletter. You can earn up to seven. There's things like tweeting about them on Twitter, following them on Instagram. All easy things, and you can get a max of seven uh, entries just by doing those seven different things. So I would love if someone in this community here was a winner of that. Now, obviously, I've got no control over it. There's lots of people promoting the contest. You can see it all over Instagram, but it'd be really cool if someone in this community won it. So I encourage you to sign up. I'm going to put a link down below. I'll also put a link in the description, and that way you can sign up, and hopefully you'll win. Now that we got that out of the way, Number one, these are the Komodo Joe fire starters. Now, I've used these now for about six years. I used them in my Komodo Joe when I had one, use them in my Komodo Komodo. You can use them in an offset, you can use them in a pizza oven, you can use them in a fire pit. And they're just wax cubes, right? You light it with a normal lighter and they burn for about 10 minutes or so. And whenever you're trying to get going, it's going. Now, my general rule of thumb for these guys, one, if I'm under 250, two, if I'm over 250, and if I'm going to 500 plus, for say pizzas, I might use three because you're gonna have a whole basket and I'm gonna go one, two, and three and just get the whole basket burning evenly. But you light them with a normal lighter, walk away for 10, 15 minutes and you've got a hot grill and they're super cheap. So there's number one. And if you can't tell, I'm just getting over a cold so my voice is a little bit off. I do apologize about that. But listen, the holidays are coming and maybe you wanna buy something for yourself. Maybe you're like me where everyone's like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. Now you can send them this video and they've got a bunch of ideas. Number two, you guys see me use these guys all the time. They're black nitro gloves. And I gotta tell you, I think that this is the best deal on the internet. All you gotta do is use my link below and you save 40%. Now the caveat there is you won't see it till you start checkout. So I think if you ordered a case, the first price is like $2.59 or something like that. But when you go to checkout, it's like $139 or $129. So that's for a thousand gloves. Now I use these to cook. I use these when I wash my car. I use them when I clean my grills. It's just handy when you don't want to get your hands messy. With those, these are very important. I usually buy just a 10 pack of these. They get dirty and messed up, but these are cotton gloves. And what happens is you put these on underneath and you put a glove over top of it, and now you can pick up very hot things that burn your hands. They do come in handy, but I will tell you, these get messy quick, you can wash them, uh, but they're not expensive, so they get to a point where you just wanna throw them out and start with a new set. Number three, infrared temp gun. Now this is just an inexpensive one from Amazon. It works great, so this is the one that I use. Now I really use this a lot in 
side the new yielder pizza oven and my actual pizza oven because you really want to know what your stone temperatures are at. I also use it in my Kimono Kamado when I'm making pizzas to check out where that stone is. It's just great to be able to get a good reading on the on the stone and again they're not that expensive. I want to say that it's like 25 bucks or something like that uh, but they do come in handy when you want to know what a surface temperature is you use it more than you think. Number four you guys have seen me use this a lot on the channel this is a sprayer you can pressurize it you can fill it with whatever you want water 50 50 water apple cider vinegar maybe some beer maybe some rum and some water some apple juice whatever you want to spray on your meat to keep it moist this works great as i said it's pressurized and you can adjust the sprayer these are cheap amazon uh, the one thing i will tell you that i've learned with this is don't fill it up all the way with apple cider vinegar and water it, it develops like a mother in here and it just doesn't store well so what happens is it clogs the the sprayer a little bit so you're going to end up dumping it out and wasting it so what i do is i usually fill about a quarter at a time that's how much i'm going to use typically during a cook and that way i don't waste any number five if you don't have one of these you need one i've been using one for 15 years or so this is actually my second I bought one for members of my family. My sister bought me my first one actually. And you know, now they light up. When I first got it, they didn't light up. And now the temperature rotates around depending what your, uh, how it's angled, which is nice. But this is a thermopen. Now this serves two purposes. Number one, super fast reading. It reads your temperatures in a second now. And if you're doing a brisket or pork or something like that, and you really want to be able to feel the tenderness, this is a great tool for this, right? brisket wants to feel like peanut butter. So you're gonna use this to not only check your temperatures, but you're also gonna be able to tell when your meat's done. And let me tell you, if you want accurate temperatures to make sure you're cooking the perfect steak, this is the best thermometer for that. Number six, I don't think I've actually ever used this on the channel. I've had it for a few years. It's a smoking gun. So essentially what happens is you've got a, we'll call it a baby hopper here. You put your, wood chips in here and they're like they're like sawdust they're very very fine wood chips you can get all kinds of different flavors and then you hook up your hose here you light it up and it's got a fan in here and it sucks in the uh the smoke and as the you know you take a lighter and you light it up and as it gets hot all the smoke comes out through the tube and Usually what I do is I use like a, uh, a cake dome. I've got a big cake dome, so I'll put it, I'll put whatever I'm trying to smoke on my, uh, my cutting board here. Stay. <laughs> and then I'll put a big cake dome over it and then I'll go like this and I'll just fill it up. And I'll do that about every 15 minutes. So let's say it's terrible outside. You cook some wings in the oven, but you want a little bit of smoke on them. You can fill them up. Usually what I'll do is I'll just let it sit for 15 minutes. Maybe I'll do a second one for another 15 minutes. You can do alcohol here. You want to make some smoked bourbon or something like that. Any of the smoked drinks, this will do that with. Um, I've used it actually one time as an experiment. I actually cooked pork in a crock pot. The weather was terrible. Don't, don't hold it against me. But it was a pork loin and I shredded it. And what I did is I just put this, I filled it with smoke and I did it like I don't know, maybe five or six times, and I stirred it up, and I gave it to a couple of friends to see if they could tell if I did it on a smoke or not, and they would have swore that I did it on a smoker. It was actually pretty unbelievable how much smoke it actually put into it. Uh, but you can do this for anything that you want to put a little bit of smoke flavor on. Sometimes I'll just put a little bit of hint of, of smoke on beef if I'm doing a steak and I want to put a little bit of smoke, and you can do it before or after. I'd do it right after. So the smoke's gonna be right on the top and you're gonna get a little bit of that smoke flavor. But these things are great. They're like hundred bucks and you can get any flavor of wood chip that you want. Number seven, you guys have seen this many times before. This is my Smoke Hex 4 from Thermoworks. They have a four, they have a two. The only difference is four ports versus two. Now, what I do is it comes with a pit probe and a clip. So I always use number one for great level temperature. And then I've got three independent temperatures I can program in alarms for, and you can, you can program in a low and a high for each individual probe. And this guy works up to two miles away, direct line of sight. 
Not that you're gonna be that far away. But if you're like me, I had the original version and it wouldn't work in my basement. So when this came out, I jumped at it and I can tell you, I can be anywhere in my house. Now I have a stucco house, hard to penetrate. And if you go across to my neighbor in his garage, which is on the other side of these two houses, I can sit in his garage, have a beer with him, and I can still monitor my temperature. So it works really good even when we're going through, I don't know, eight walls, 10 walls. So works really well. Again, they do have a two and they have a four, uh, but I do like it because I can have all individual alarms on the different kinds of meat and I've got a pit probe to boot. Number eight is one of the coolest toys on the list and that's the grow gun. Now, this is the actual grow gun and then we have a sous vide gun. What do I use this for? More than I thought. <laughs> the great thing about it is that you can use a small one pound tank on it or you can get the adapter and you can hook it up to a 20 pound tank. I use this to fire up my Komodo Komodo. I use it to start my offset and I also use it to start my pizza oven. And then when the weekend comes and it's nighttime, I use it to start a fire. So comes in super handy, even if the wood's a little bit of wet, throws out this big flame. You can have a little bit of fun at the same time and it works great. Now, they also have a sous vide gun, which you can see I recently purchased. The sous vide gun is actually very similar, except for it's short, okay? This gives you a long barrel so you're away from the flame. And this one has got this little piece in here, which this one does not. And it keeps the flame very, very focused. This is a wide flame and this one's focused. This one's twice as hot. And this one's really used for what it says, sous vide, right? Sous vide some meat and you wanna put some sear on your meat. This is the gun to have. You can buy them as a kit or you can buy them individually. I started with this one and then I have an experiment video that I want to do. So if you're not subscribed, you want to see this in action, subscribe down below. But I am going to be doing a video with this guy here real soon. Uh, but these things work great and start your fire in less than a minute. Number nine. Now, many of you guys, when you look at this for the first time, you look at the price and you run away. Let me tell you why it's so expensive. Number one, this is purposely empty. Check this out. The first time you pick this up and you feel how smooth this is, ball bearings in here, it's made out of aluminum. It's all metal on the inside, all stainless steel. This thing's gonna last forever. And it's adjustable from eight mesh to 60 mesh. So whatever size pepper you want, you can do it on this thing. It's it's got a, a container down at the bottom that holds three tablespoons and this puts out pepper 10 times faster than any other pepper grinder on the market. Now I have, I think it's called a Peugeot inside, paid like 80 bucks for it. They used to be the gold standard and it has six different settings on it for fineness and even on the coarser setting, which isn't even close to 12, this thing kills it. Like trying to get one tablespoon of pepper with my other one was a workout. This one, you can do it super quick. I mean, you can get, I don't know, I bet you in less than 15 seconds, you'll have a couple tablespoons of pepper with this. Now, if you're making your own rubs or you're making a big batch of pepper and salt for a brisket or something like that, this is great. You can grind out enough to do a whole brisket in under a minute very, very easily. You don't have a big arm workout and it works great. Again, are made out of aluminum. It's hefty, stainless steel on the inside. It's quality. That's why it's so expensive. Luckily for you, I've got a discount code for 10% down below, but I'll tell you what, my dad saw this and fell in love with it right away. Number 10. Now I said I'm doing them in order of less expensive to more expensive, and this one's got a little bit of a caveat. So you can see I've got the meter plus, which has extended range. I also have the block. The reason I'm putting these together is because I'm gonna encourage you to get the block. The real reason for that is, is that the block has a wireless repeater built into this guy. It has four probes. And what you do is you hook it up to Wi-Fi. You leave the block outside. And now on your phone, you can use your Wi-Fi. You could be at the store. You could be wherever you want. And you can check your temperatures. You can even get it on your watch. And you can track things. Now, the great thing about a meter is that we have internal temperatures here. You got to put it in up to this line. And then we've got ambient temperatures here. So depending on how you put it in your meat, you can get different temperatures. Now, 
when do I use something like this? Well, I can tell you I used it for Thanksgiving turkey, right? Put it in the breast and I do a whole turkey because my wife likes it stuffed and I put it in the breast. And the great thing is now I have, after it calculates, I've got a finishing time. So it, it counts down to when the meal is going to be done so I can plan the rest of my meal, right? If I'm doing brisket or something like that, I don't really track temperature on it. I look at color and I look at feel, you know, obviously I do a quick test before I wrap it, but mostly I'm looking at the, the amount of bark on it and the color. And that really dictates my wrap. And then at the end, I'm trying to pro for tenderness. But something like this, if you're doing turkey, Maybe you've, you've got four people over, you're doing steaks, you want to set individual temperatures, you can do all that, you can set different alarms. If you're doing a prime rib and you want to make sure you nail your temperature, now what it does, the cool thing is, is it actually tells you, all right, pull from the heat now and it allows for the carry over time so you can nail your perfect temperature every single time. But this is under $100, this is like $220 I think, uh, maybe $240. You've got four probes here. But the big thing is the wireless repeater, I think it's worth its weight in gold uh, because it's nice to be able to walk around inside your house or even if you, you're making something and you forget one thing you can run in the store real quick, you can still monitor your temperatures and not have to worry about how your food's doing. Number 11. Now the next few get on the pricey side. However, I want to show them to you because I want you to understand what they are and understand that you might want to consider having one. Here's why. This is a chamber vac. Now we've all seen the food saver ones where, and I have one inside actually, where you have the bag, you cut it to length, you seal one end, you vac seal it, you seal the other end and you're done, right? This guy, what you do is you put the bags inside and it creates a vacuum inside and does an airtight seal. Now there's a couple of advantages to something like this. Number one, the seal on this is far greater than you're gonna get on a food saver or any of those other style vacs. Like this is like grocery store type seals. There's no air in there, right? You get into making sausages or something like that. That's the type of seal you're gonna get on something like this. You can also do soups or uh, if, when I make pasta sauce, I typically make like 12 pounds at it and I'll vacuum seal some of it instead of canning it and then I can just layer it on my freezer. Now the other advantage to something like this is you can buy different bags. And now this is more expensive to buy up front, but the bags are dirt cheap, right? You can get like a thousand for maybe 80 or 90 bucks. Now I got this from uh, webstaurantstore.com. They have a bunch of different ones. I'll leave a link to those below. Also Meter now has one uh, that is a very similar model that looks pretty good. But here's what happens here, right? I can get a big bag, I can get a small bag. They've got other sizes. They've got two mil, they've got four mil depending on if it's gonna just go in the fridge or if it's gonna go in the freezer and how long it's gonna be stored for. But these cost pennies. So yes, the other one is inexpensive, but those bags really add up and you don't get a ton of them, whereas you can buy a whole box of a thousand of these and have them a very long time. The other advantage here is like, let's say you're making sausage, you're, you wanna vacuum seal a whole bunch of stuff. This will vacuum seal in like 22 seconds. So if I've got 20 bags of sausages, that I'm trying to get all bagged up. I'll bag them upstairs, and I actually, I keep this downstairs on a table, and I'll just carry everything downstairs, vac seal them, and be done with it. And I'm done in, you know, 10 minutes versus the other way it would take me forever. So there is advantage to having one of these, and the only thing drawback besides the cost is that they are quite heavy. <laughs> so that's why this one stays downstairs. I don't lug it around, uh, but I do enjoy having one and I use it a ton, uh, especially because you can do liquids in it. And you know, I'm not a soup guy, but my wife loves a couple different soups. So I make her some soup, I vacuum seal it. And you know, it's gonna be a bag like this. I can just stack them on top of each other in the freezer. She can pull them out and defrost it in the fridge whenever she wants and dump it into a pot and away she goes. Last but not least, you guys see it in pretty much every video, one of these cutting boards. Now, this is a 36 inch version. I actually have it on this outdoor table uh, that's actually in my Amazon store. It's not on my, my list here, but it, I move this around my patio all the time and it's four feet. So this 36 inch board fits very well on it. As you can see, it's two inches thick. This is made by Fifth and Cherry. I love cutting boards. This sits on my countertop all the time. 
They have a 36, an 18, and a 14. Now, I've had more than my fair share of cutting boards, and one of the things that makes this particular one unique is there's actually metal rods that go through this. So you're not gonna have any warping problems or anything like that. You're gonna hand this down to somebody else in your family when you're no longer around or you don't have a use for it. Um, but it's also got a lifetime reconditioning warranty. So it comes in a box, a little crate if you will, and keep the crate, send it back in the crate, and they will recondition it for you if it needs it. Now, as long as you take care of it, you really shouldn't need that much of it. The real trick is to just keep it oiled. I try and oil mine once a month just with mineral oil, wash it down with soap and water from time to time to keep it clean. And again, it sits out on my countertop all year round. And uh, it's just, it's a conversation piece, but it's great to be able to have uh, when you're cutting up briskets or bigger pieces of meat. And if you want, you can get a juice channel cut into it when you order it. You can also customize it. Like this, this one says Fifth and Cherry on it. You can also get your logo or your, someone's name on it or something like that. I decided against that, uh, but can't say enough good things about it. I've had some other expensive boards and they have not held up the way that this one's holding up. Um, so I really do like these. I do have a 15% discount code on these. Again, all the links for everything I'm talking about today are gonna be below. If I do have a discount code, I will put that in brackets down there below. Uh, but this is a, a very unique and great gift. Now you may not need the 36, uh, but the 14 and the 18 inch may interest you. So I wanted to talk a little bit about them. That's all I got today. Hopefully you got some value in this video. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about in this video, leave me a comment down below. If you think I forgot something that should be on the list, leave it down below. And again, if you've got a, a question specific that's too long for the comments, my email's down below. Shoot me an email. Again, hopefully you got some value to this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.